In this video, I want to show you how you can install Windows 10 in Windows 11. I want to install Windows 10 in Windows 11 in a virtual machine. For this, you need two things. First, you need the Windows 10 ISO. I'm going to show you how to download it from Microsoft site. And you need to enable Hyper-V on your Windows 11 machine. So I'm going to show you also how to do this. So I'm assuming here that you're using Windows 11 and you are using the Pro version or the Education version of Windows 11 because Hyper-V is not available on Windows 11 Home. So let's start first by downloading the Windows 10 ISO. Open your web browser and then go to this site, microsoft.com slash software dash download and hit enter. Click on Windows 10. So here, scroll until you find something called Create Windows 10 Installation Media. Click on Download Tool now and wait for the tool to be downloaded. And once the tool is downloaded, click on Open to open it. And then click on Yes if prompted. And here, give it a second. And then you need to accept the license agreement, so click on Accept. And then here, it's very important to click on Create Installation Media. Do not select Upgrade this PC. So select Create Installation Media, and then click on Next. And here, choose the language you want. I'm going to leave it at English United States for me. Edition is Windows 10. This is the only option. And I advise you to download the 64-bit architecture. So keep it on 64-bit, and then click on Next. And here, it's important to choose ISO file. So click on Next. And here it will prompt you where you want to save your ISO file. So go to your downloads folder or to the folder where you want to save your ISO file and then click on save. And the downloading will begin. I'm not going to wait for the download here. I previously downloaded the ISO file. But for you, wait for the download to finish and then head to the next step, which is enabling Hyper-V on your Windows 11 machine. So I'm going to simply cancel this one here. And I'm going to use the one that I downloaded earlier. So now, the second step is to enable Hyper-V on your Windows 11 machine. To do this, you need first to make sure that virtualization is enabled in the BIOS setup of your machine. And then you need to enable Hyper-V within Windows features. And I'm going to show you how to check both. So let's check first if virtualization is enabled on the hardware level. So click Search here and type Task Manager and then click on Task Manager. And in Task Manager here, let me a little bit put it bigger. Click on Performance. And then here, you see Virtualization, it says that it is enabled. So by the way, if Task Manager doesn't show all these details, it means that it is showing like this. Simply click on More Details and then click on Performance and then here see the virtualization. So if virtualization is not enabled here, it means that you need to go into the BIOS setup of your PC and enable virtualization and continue afterwards. So now I'm going to show you quickly how to do this on a Dell PC. So go to the BIOS setup of your PC. This is a Dell PC, so I'm pressing F12. I'm going to put a list of hotboot keys in the description to find the hotboot key for your PC. And in BIOS Setup, go to Virtualization Support, and then click on Virtualization, and then click on Enable Intel Virtualization Technology. Or if you have maybe an AMD CPU, go and enable it under the AMD CPU. It might be different. So enable everything under Virtualization Support. Click Apply, and then click on Exit. So now that we enabled virtualization on our PC, let me show you how to install the Hyper-V feature in your Windows 11 machine. So click here on the Start menu and then select Settings. And under Settings, click on Apps. And then click on Optional Features. And then here, click on More Windows Features. And this will open the Windows feature. So here, under Turn Windows Features On or Off, you need to go to something called Hyper-V and simply select it and then click on OK. So Windows will start installing the Hyper-V feature. 
and the first part of the Hyper-V installation is completed. Now Windows needs to reboot, so I'm going to come back when the Windows system reboots. So now the system rebooted after enabling the Hyper-V feature in Windows 11. So let's start Hyper-V Manager. Click on the search button here and then type in Hyper-V and select Hyper-V Manager. So this is the Hyper-V Manager. Let me maximize it like this. And then select your PC. And on the right here, click on New. And then click on Virtual Machine. And click on Next. Name it Windows 10 or whatever you want. Next. And here, keep Generation 1 selected. And then click on Next. For the memory, if your system allows it, give it at least 4 GB of RAM. So here my system, my host machine has 16 GB of RAM. So I can give it 4 GB, which amounts to 4096 MB. Click on Next. And for the network connection, click on Default Switch here. And then click on Next. And for the virtual hard drive, it proposes for you the name Windows 10 VHDX, so keep it as it is. If you want to change its location, you can change it here, but I'm going to keep it on the default location. And for the size of the hard drive, I'm going to reduce it to 50 gigabytes. 127 gigabytes is too much for a Windows 10 machine. Of course, it depends on what you want to install on your Windows 10 machine. So here, feel free to put the number you want, but do not put less than 50 gigabytes. And then click on Next. And then here you need to select install an operating system from a bootable CD DVD ROM. And then click on image file here and click on browse and browse to the downloads folder or to the folder where you put your Windows 10 ISO and select your Windows 10 ISO and click on open. And then click on next. And here click on finish. So the virtual machine will be created. As you see, its state says that it is off now. So we need to start it. So click on Start. And then click on Connect. And you see this is a virtual machine. So Windows 10 setup file starts. And this is the Windows 10 installation. I'm going to go through it very quickly. So I'm going to click on Next here, Install. And I'm not going to put a product key now. We can put a product key later. So I click on I don't have a product key. I advise you to select the Windows 10 Pro so that you can create a local account. And this is what I'm doing here. So I'm selecting Windows 10 Pro and then click on Next and click on Accept the license terms. Next, Custom. And then the hard drive, the virtual hard drive gets selected by default. Simply click on Next. And this is the installation underway. So I'm going to cut this video and come back when this installation is almost finished. So the installation is almost finished now. This is the first step of the installation, of course. We still need to configure it very fast. And here, let's click on Restart now, so not to wait for it to restart automatically. So it should restart. Don't touch any key now, because we don't want to boot from the ISO. So it boots from the internal or the virtual hard drive now. So it's booting from the virtual hard drive and the configuration will continue. So once again, do not type any key on your keyboard. Let it start from the virtual hard drive. And here, this is a configuration of Windows 10. I'm gonna leave everything by default. So it is United States. And then the keyboard also, it is US. I don't want to add another keyboard, skip. So here, I'm going to select Setup for Personal Use, and then click Next. So here, I'm going to create an offline account. I'm not going to use my Outlook account to log in. And this is simpler. So simply click on Offline Account here. And then click on Limited Experience. And then Name the account whatever you want. So I'm going to name it KST here for knowledge sharing tech. Click on next. I'm not going to put a password. Of course, you can put a password here, 
but for the sake of this tutorial I'm not gonna put a password and here this is a privacy option so feel free to choose whatever you want I like to turn everything off and then click on accept and then I don't want Cortana so not now so while waiting for Windows 10 to start let's eject the ISO file we don't need it we could have ejected it before after the initial setup so click on media DVD drive and then simply select eject Windows 10 ISO or Windows ISO whatever the name you gave it and here it's asking me to adjust the configuration so I'm gonna leave it as it is here and then I'm gonna click on connect and it is connecting to the virtual machine now so let's sign in first and then after we sign in I'm gonna show you how to change the resolution so this is the resolution here so as you see this is Windows 10 running within Windows 11 so this is the setup for Edge I'm gonna click on maybe later of course feel free to set it up whenever you want so if you resize the window it should resize accordingly you can put it also full screen here like this you can restore it so there is full integration with Windows 11 so even the sound will work so let me demonstrate it for you quickly and this is Windows 10 running within Windows 11 so let me show you how to shut it down and how to start it once again just to show you how to start it so let's shut it down and let's say you shut down this also so to start it run Hyper-V manager by choosing the search menu and then typing Hyper-V you can pin it of course to your taskbar so let's run Hyper-V manager click on desktop here and you see you have the virtual machine inside here if you click on it you can click on first connect and then you can click on start if you receive this message this is because Windows puts a checkpoint automatically so I don't want to revert to the checkpoint simply click on continue and this is Windows 10 starting within Windows 11 so click on connect once again and this is Windows 10 signing in and starting here so I hope you liked this video and found it useful if you did please share it subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up I would really appreciate it and it will help the channel greatly I want to thank you all for watching and see you in the next video